What's up, my GY6 riders? If you enjoy your life like I do, and you don't want to die early, and you're running an open belt on your GY6 scooter, yeah, pay attention because I'm going to show you exactly, step by step, what parts you need and how to install an engine case brace. We're going to do the case brace on here. This is what comes in the, the kit here. This big beefy thing. So why do we do a case brace? Well, it looks cool, but that's not why. The reason is, is because it's super, super dangerous, but if you're just running the CVT without the kickstart cover, you know, that comes standard with a kickstart cover, when you cut it in half, you're really jeopardizing the integrity of this engine. And it, they crack right down the center right here. And your rear wheel goes one way, front wheel goes another, and you are freaking dead, basically. So what we do is we put this... Uh, I should mention this really quick. See this little bushing? When you have the kickstart, you want to make sure you get that bushing out of there. See this gear on the kickstart? This gear right here? Very important that that is still there. You got to keep that. Don't ever take that off, even though you're not running the kickstart. It, it works as a spacer. This sucker goes right over the top, just like this. And it'll support. Now there's a few bolts and things that come with it. Let me grab them. These guys, I'm gonna use these for the fancy cover here. So once that goes on there, we'll put our CVT together, all that, and then this little cover will go over and make it look fancy. So it's, that's called an ankle biter. We have this whole kit on the website, of course. And then we're gonna do fancy, 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 Ravino clutch, Ravino clutch here. This thing is so sweet. Set that over there. And we're doing NCY variator with dry face. Set that over there too. So all of our bolts we want Loctite. And it's important that when we do this, we don't, uh, we don't attach the bolts on these four, these four holes because those are gonna go with these extender bolts for the ankle biter. So we're going to do them all, but those four bolts. So let's start prepping this to get this together. So of course you want lock nut, washer, lock nut, washer. So in a perfect world, you really didn't need to uh, do uh, lock tight because it's got a lock washer, but we won't risk it. We're going to do lock tight on them. Do a ton of uh, blue Loctite, just have it mate with the other bolts, saves time. And then there's one other thing, see here? This guy, this is gonna actually go right back here. See this little spacer? Through there. Just like that. On the back, you got a washer, and then you've got your nut. So we'll just get that lightly started. I'm gonna start some of these by hand here, just lightly. What do you guys think about these multi-camera views? I'm, I actually have another camera being set up real soon, so we'll have three angles. The less I have to move a camera around, the better. I don't wanna tighten these all the way down until I know that um, see, I'm going to be able to move it. I need to be able to move it so I can attach these other bolts. We just want to make sure it lines up. So this is what I'm going to do. So you got this super long one that's going to go back here, that guy. Then you've got the other super long one that goes back here. Then you've got your two shorter ones. They go up here. Let's just do a test it, and then I'll go through and tighten the hell out of all these. I just want to make sure that these fit first, because I've been down this road where you tighten. Tighten the whole back up, and then uh, and then you can't get these in. That happens all the time. So just we just want to make sure that we're we're good on these. Then I'll take them back loose. I'm not actually going to install these right after this. I'm going to install the the uh, CVT kit. So now that we know we're good, I can go through like this and tighten these back bolts down so that it doesn't move. 
There's no real torque setting for these. I just crank them down. I guess if there was one, you can use the nine foot pound torque. That's like the same torque as all the case bolts, things like that. So now that I've got it, I know that it's tight. It's not going to move. So I'll take this little brace back off the ankle biter. I'll just crank the sweet Jesus out of these nine, nine foot pounds. Long story short, you don't want them coming loose. Okay, now I'm gonna get, crank this guy down back here. No torque setting on that really, just crank the shit out of it. We need to put our variator on. So the variator comes just like this. I just put actually Dr. Pulley sliders in there, 12 gram in there. You wanna make sure that these read Dr. Pulley goes up. It's easy to get these wrong and do something like this. See how that looks similar? This is wrong, this is correct. It doesn't have that flat spot on the top. Dr. Pulley, up, okay? Then you've got your little drive face or your plate on here, very your backing plate like that. And then you'd use your old boss. And I'm gonna slide that sucker in. Kind of want don't you don't want oil on this stuff so make sure if you have any type of oil wipe that off i'm gonna slide this sucker on here real nice and easy just like that okay here's our ravino clutch super sweet super trick ravino clutch in order to do this you want to squeeze and turn at the same time i'm going to add my belt Kevlar belt. We have this in our, this is called the uh, ultimate CBT kit for the GY6. Comes with a Kevlar belt, Ravino clutch, NC5, NCY variator with an NCY drive face. It looks just like this. So this is what I want to do. Squeeze like this, hold it. This isn't easy. See what I did there? I got the belt down just like that. You need to have it far enough down that it'll go over just like that. So we're good. So now I'm gonna take this guy, the dry face. Okay, hold it there. Red Loctite. Washer. The skinnier, there's two different nuts here. Here we go. Same thing over here, red Loctite. So the Ravino Drive face here, super sweet. It doesn't go on like a normal CVT. See the little grooves here? I have to line those up. I've got these I gotta line up, so very important. Here we go, it's all the way down. Washer, nut. Now we need to crank these down to 45 foot pounds. 17 millimeter on each side. See, normally you would use a flywheel tool here to hold on a normal flywheel with this tool. Not that easy. So you gotta hold it on this side. And then same thing over here, you gotta hold it over here. But for me, that's what you're supposed to do when you torque it down. When you get it in the engine, it's a little different because the rear wheel's on there, you can hold the brake. I'm gonna nail it with it impact. Now what I'm doing is not what you should do. I do this every day so I know the, tor the strength of these guns. Okay, 45 foot pounds right there, probably a little over. We need this sucker on there. This is going to go right over the top, looking pretty as can be. Blue Loctite, just like that. Get it started. We're gonna go up the top right here. Get this back piece set first. You'd be having a pain in the butt lining all this up. But lucky for me, I'm a freaking professional and I know what to freaking do. Now I'm just going to go in a 
star pattern here until we get it. Nine foot pounds slash don't have them come loose. Now I added oil to that rear drive. I'm going to have to make sure I cap it off whenever I ship it. I'm not going to add engine oil either. So that's going to need to be done. The gear oil I'm not too worried about. That doesn't come out easily. Okay. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, queen. And there we have it, boys and girls. 171cc engine. What do you think, you guys? Huh? How do you like it? Look good? See if there's any comments. I'll read those, and then we'll start wrapping it up. I appreciate you guys. This whole video will be live on our membership site. Um, we got it. We've got this engine. Uh, it's called the 171 uh, crate engine. Go over to the website. You can check that out. It'll show you everything that's included. It'll come like this, although we did do a Ravina. We did a few little extras on this that doesn't come in the kit. You can check that out. Pricing sometimes changes, so head over there to check that out. All right, I got a friend working on mine because I was going to sledgehammer it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to sledgehammer this one too like the other day. Jesus. Normally we do giveaways. We're not going to do giveaways today. I have a ton of stuff to do after this. We're going to have to, I'm going to have to get to work here in just a minute. I appreciate everybody that's in here. 66 of you guys. I appreciate that. These, these lives are getting better and better. Anybody got anything else before I exit the building? <laughs> He's exiting the building. I'm, uh, <laughs> Jesus, I got a mess over here. Oh, there's one more thing. Check this out. Last piece of the puzzle that I almost forgot. We've got our short wheel axle kit we installed for the Honda Ruckus. We've got our uh, rolling wrench hub. Oh, yeah. It's got all kinds of different bolt patterns for different size wheels. And that sucker mounts. That cranks down. I'm not going to crank that down. I'm actually probably going to pull this hub back off. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to have this done, you guys. You guys want me to do more videos like this when I'm just live working? Let me know. Some t oh, Pete comes flying around the corner with $5 in beer money. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. It's not the first time you've done that. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Super chatting it up. Is the Ravino clutch good for uh, track? Yeah, dude. The only thing I don't remember, recommend the Ravino clutch for is like a trike. Anything that's really heavy, like a trike, a buggy, an ATV, things like that, it'll burn up. All right, you guys. Well, I appreciate you. Um, don't forget to hit the little like button. If you, if you think this sucked, hit the thumbs down button two times. And we're going to want to probably see you in the... Uh, the next video. The video that you just watched was filmed live. We do a lot of lives. Every Friday we'll, we'll do a live. Some of them are step-by-step -step how to's. Some of them are just chit-chatting, chit things like that. If you enjoy stuff like this and you want the raw feed, because once we go live, that raw feed will go into a private collection for my members only. If you want to become a member, I'll put a link down below. I appreciate you guys. and We'll see you in the next video. <music>